Hey everybody, Gerda Muller here, clinical psychologist and private practice success business coach and mentor saying hi and hello for the second time today. Let me have a look. Why am I so white? Hang on, that's a bit better, right? <laughs> Excellent. Hey Denise, how are you going? How's thing in Brizzy? It is very windy out here in the suburbs. Um, Denise is, I think, more or less in the city, CBD, your practice. I'm out probably 45 minutes drive from Brisbane CBD. That's where I'm at. Um, yeah, I'm sitting here on my balcony and it is very windy. <laughs> it's not a usual Brisbane day and it's the second time I've gone live today on my page. How serendipitous to see you. It most certainly is. It most certainly is. And I'm always just so happy when somebody joins me live for a live stream. Um, let me know um, that the sound is okay. That would make me feel much better just because it is a tad windy here. But um, <laughs> you might think then why are you live streaming outside, Gerda? Because the strategy to it's almost kids to come home from school. Um, because this balcony is off my bedroom door well my bedroom so I can close the balcony door close my bedroom door and hopefully find me <laughs> so I can hide but I of course try to be done by the time they walk in from school but at least I get warning to know that they're on their way coming to uh, a video bomb if that is a word anyway my live stream on Facebook so I'm coming to you with a very, very serious conversation today. Hey Denise, I'm so glad to hear the sound is perfectly fine. That's amazing. So the, the title for today's live stream, um, I think I said this could be fatal to your practice. It's most certainly not meant to be clickbait. It is a very serious topic of conversation. Um, it's something that we all know to do, but we just don't do it, okay? It just doesn't happen. And neglecting this will have serious consequences for your practice, whether you are a brand new solo practitioner or whether you are a more established group practice owner. Maybe you're a bit of an impact entrepreneur like myself and you do online work. It, the same holds true for everybody. When people neglect this activity, this can be fatal for your business. It might not be instantaneously, but it most certainly will happen. Now, before I tell you what that is, um, I want you to just reflect on how's it going for you right now in your practice. It is, what's the date today? I don't even know. It's like mid-November. It was the 11th, I think, on Monday. 12 so today must be the 13th right yes today's the 13th of november it's um one and a half months until the end of the year and traditionally this is a time of year when things get very very busy i know for me as a parent it's really hectic with all the school stuff and all the activities that's happening um, as a practice owner i know that i'm going into the busiest season for clients. December is a really tough time of year for a lot of people with mental health concerns, right? Yes, it, it looks all nice and fun and family orientated and joyful on TV and all the Coles and Woolies adverts that they're running at the moment. I look at those adverts and I go, those are just such perfect families, right? It is so far removed from reality. Um, let's just admit that, right? Um, so I know that for a lot of the families coming through our doors, it's a really tough time of year. For a lot of people struggling with grief and loss and separation, it's a tough time of year, which means that our practices are even busier than usual. So busy. And there's almost this, and let me know if you experience this as well, right? I mean, I've been going through December in a group private practice for many, many years now. And, it, and, and it, there's this heightened energy of pressure, okay? It's a pressured energy. 
it's like just like do 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 go 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 running from pillar to post getting everything done that's the energy just within the practice um, first and foremost from clinicians wanting to fit in as many clients as possible wanting to get as much hello just in case it's like it is yeah. do you think i shouldn't use this i'll just take it off then um yeah let's do that abby says my sound is good okay let's try that i think i'm speaking loud enough thank you what was I saying? Yes, clinicians trying to fit in as many, as many clients as possible, you know, trying to get people to complete their sessions on Medicare because everybody feels this pressure, you know, which really shouldn't be there to get as many clients, done, uh, not client sessions done as possible under Medicare for this calendar here because people want to feel like they're getting that value of their sessions under Medicare getting all the paperwork done, the reports and all of that type of stuff, right? So that's like the clinician pressure that's there. And then there's all the, the admin pressure in terms of end of year stuff. And, 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 you know, especially if you're doing a lot of EAP and DVA work cover and work through your primary healthcare network, the old ATABs. So basically if you're doing a lot of third party type work, making sure that you've submitted all your invoices, making sure that you get payments before the end of the year, making sure you do all your debt collection, all of that stuff. So, you know, admin is also, not ad admin, yes, but also accounts, admin in accounts have all those pressures. And, and it's almost, you know, it's like when you're going on holidays and there's this build up to the holidays happening and you feel so stressed and you're trying to get everything done on your to-do list stuff at work stuff for packing stuff around the house so that you can actually go on holidays feeling calm and relaxed but you work yourself up into this frenzy in getting ready and getting prepared and I can only go on holiday once or when I've done all of these things on my list, right? It is so, so stressful. And we do it to ourselves, right? <laughs> uh, so, so true. We do it ourselves. And this is what end of year often feels like in the private practice. Hey, Kirsten, so glad to have you here as well. So let me know, please let me know. Give me some love, some love hearts or make a comment if you agree that that is the energy that you feel in your practice as well you know maybe it's a bit early for your practice depending on how big you you are but i can guarantee you come the first of december it's going to be there it's going to be there heightened energy amongst everything and then <laughs> last but not least the poor practice owner right in terms of thinking okay what do i need to do what is all my list getting ready so that i can go on a holidays with my kids right and spend some time with my family how to ensure that everything runs smoothly when i'm away and and the practice owner starts to focus on all of these other stuff and then everybody comes back in january hopefully nice and rested and it's almost like people pitch up in jan and they go hmm what now what now what now and it's like this anti-climax <laughs> i don't know maybe it's different for you right it's like oh <laughs> and then what happens people just like float they float and then what do they do then they wake up and they go oh my golly we need to fill up the diary again let's get stuck into marketing let's get stuck into marketing right let's fill it up let's call the clients and you know maybe there's some clients that had bookings and they've cancelled or not showed and then that hamster wheel just starts the hamster wheel just starts and it's like before you know it it's december again and it's just another bloody here just another bloody here so the question that you need to ask yourself today, is that what you want? Is that what you want 2020 to be for you? Just another year. I hope not. I hope not. You know, for me personally, 2020 is going to be one hell of a year. Uh, we're moving house, uh, moving up north in January. I'm running the first ever private practice success conference called Elevate 2020 in July. It's going to be one hell of a conference. It's going to be one hell of an experience. And I intend to make 2020 the best here when it comes to my personal branding. Um, Kirsten says, 
Hey Gerda, I make the date I need to stop, then work backwards, meaning I then decide what needs to happen before that date. A bit stressful, but it forces me to plan. I also book people in December for January. Excellent. Denise says you are reading my mind. Ah, I, I happen to have those qualities. <laughs> Denise, the fact of the matter is, you know, we all might have different practices, but we're in the same industry, right? And, and this is what happens in our industry this time of year. And it's so important to be aware of it and then make a, a, a decision. It really starts with awareness, step number one, in terms of going, okay, just step back, oops, um, reflect on what's happening right now. Is this what happened last year and the year before? Mm -mm, yeah. Um, and then, you know, so aware and then decide. Truly, we need to make a decision that next year ain't gonna be just another year, right? That I'm gonna actively, consciously decide that it's gonna be different, okay? You need to make that decision. It's like when somebody decides to go vegan or vegetarian, they need to make the decision comes first and then the action, right? So that's step two. So step one, awareness. Step two is the decision. You need to decide. Um, and then step three, you now need to plan what needs to be different. So a big mistake what people make is they go from awareness, uh, realizing something needs to change, then they tell them, they decide that they're gonna change, and then they jump straight into the doing. Biggest mistake, biggest mistake, because we know what happens, it doesn't last. The doing does not last, why? Because we've missed an essential third part of that process, step number three. And Kirsten actually alluded to that when she said, it forces me to what, in her comment? Kirsten says, it forces me to plan to plan so so important denise says last week was our four month opening anniversary that's so exciting and so i'm watching very carefully what happens over the november to fair period to learn the process well denise you are in good company because i'm now warning you <laughs> right i'm warning you to look out for so step one, become aware step two decide what's your year going to be like next year how's it going to be different hey simon and step three tell yourself no i'm not jumping to step four i know we are overachievers i know we like to jump over steps because we're capable <laughs> practice owners and high functioning human beings but step three is really essential and I know the doing feels so good, right? Because it makes you feel like you're achieving something, but you need to do step three, which is the planning part. And I want to encourage you not to leave your planning for January. Do your planning right now, okay? Because the fact of the matter is this, for a lot of practice owners, January is a quieter time. It might be quieter in terms of actual clients attending, or it might just be quieter because your team might also be parents that are you know, taking holidays because their kids are on school holidays. So your team might be quieter, which really means that January is a very important month for you to get a lot of stuff done, right? It is absolutely vital time that you can use to really set the foundations for an amazing 2020. But you need to do the planning now so that when you pitch up to the practice in week one or two or three, whenever your practice reopens, that you are ready to rock and roll, hit the road running and implement the shit out of building your practice to whatever level you want it to grow in 2020. Okay, but it's not gonna happen if you do not step into the brain space of planning. Now, um, for 2019, I actually ran an in-person event at the Gold Coast, it was the most fun. I actually ran it at the QT Hotel, where I was at over the weekend running my masterclass. Um, and I actually ran an in-person income blueprint planning day no i'm not running one of those again this year reason being that i'm moving <laughs> right however 
uh, it is so important to do this planning now what noise is that when I'm like talking here such inconsiderate neighbors please let me know if you're struggling to hear me otherwise I'm gonna have to send Abby Abby if you're watching you're gonna have to run across the road and go tell that neighbor of mine that he's making a noise <laughs> no, don't worry I'm not such a narcissist to think they should stop making noise because I'm live streaming uh, well maybe maybe not I wonder if I should go in there those that are watching please tell me how bad is the noise would you like me to move let me know if you want me to move I wonder what they are doing with them they might be working in the garden or something anyhow so I've run this an in-person event as I said not doing it this year because we are moving house now, that noise is just annoying me too much okay bear with me let's see if I can go in here oh that's much better much better much better just gonna sit here and speak to you so as I said I'm moving up north to Agnes water so I'm not able to run an in-person event but I acknowledge that this is a very very important thing that you need to do oh, look how clever am I I closed the door hey Christine yeah I think it's a lawnmower Denise I think it's a lawnmower how dare they mow their lawn in the middle of the week that's like Saturday jobs right anyway so what I'm gonna do is this instead of doing an in-person event I'm going to be running a virtual income blueprint planning day yes I'm gonna do the exact same content as what I would have done at the in-person event but we're gonna do it virtually which I truly hope is gonna help more people <laughs> so rooted Kirsten more people allow more people to access this right um, it was a fabulous event when I ran it for 2020 um, how much was it the investment that I charged for this was 997 for the in-person event if you got the early bird and it was 1497 I think if you missed the early bird and that was for a 10 to 4 o'clock in-person event obviously it's not going to be um, you know those rates because it's going to be a virtual income blueprint planning event I suspect doing it virtually will take more or less three hours <laughs> I don't know it will take as long as what it needs to take but I'm gonna book it in for December the 6th which is a Friday okay the 6th 12 and 23 and I'm gonna run it from uh, probably hmm I was thinking 12 but now I'm having second thoughts I think I'm gonna start at 11 30 because I, I need to remember that some of you are in the southern states which means it's getting a bit late then on a Friday for you guys because I want to ideally finish before school finishes for those of you that have kids that you might need to go pick up at school because the fact of the matter is I would love for you to be there live right it might be visual but if you could be there live that would be just be so amazing financial freedom Friday yes <laughs> so we'll probably do it December the 6th at 11 30 a.m. I think that's better 11 30 12 30 1 30 2 30 my time which is 3 30 your time yeah I don't think it will be longer than than three hours I truly don't but if I do I've got the content if I decide to add more stuff in I might make it a bit earlier um, darn it let's just make it 11 because I want to have scope to add in more stuff so 11 o'clock Queensland time which would be midday 12 o'clock if you are in Sydney in those states right probably for around about three hours and we'll look at stuff like your money mindset 
things that's been holding your back what is your goals for next year etc etc and what I might do is actually just put in a comment in here to tell you exactly what we will be covering um, I do have it written down on my computer so I will add it in here uh, once you enroll or sign up for it um, we'll let you know that you're in we will also send you a zoom link I don't have the link as yet we'll send you a zoom link for you to join me on that day I truly believe that you need to do that now do not wait until January right do not let the busyness of December derail you from actually planning your success in 2020 if we register and pay can we watch the recording most certainly oh EMDR masterclass that's awesome I love EMDR I always said that if I had to go back to full-time clinical work the first clinical PD I will do is EMDR that has always been on my list and I had never gotten to do it um, so most certainly Denise what I would encourage you to do though is to still now already book out three hours somewhere in your diary if you can't join me live on the 6th of December book it out in your diary now already we know how quickly it fills up so that you can actually sit with the recording and do all the activities as I talk you through it okay this is really um, a good good content it's stuff that I do for myself it's stuff that we do for the practices I actually have the practices quarterly planning scheduled in for the Monday Tuesday and Wednesday of that week then I have the Thursday um, doing other stuff and then the Friday we're doing this event so it's gonna be straight up the back of me also doing this exercise with my own practice so I'm sure there'll be lots of things that I will have to share with you guys from that as well also Please be mindful if you are in the Next Level Mastermind group that you do get 50% discount for my courses that is under $500 and the good news is that your investment for the income blueprint planning day is only going to be $497 which means that you will be able to use your discount. The other important thing to note is that I am making available for the first 20 people that sign up and I know that is quite a lot normally I only offer this like for the first 10 but I really I wanted to encourage as many people as possible to do this because this might be three hours of your time but this is gonna pay off big time in 2020 and I thought hang on this time I'm gonna give the early bird bonus not to the first 10 people but to the first 20 because if this can make you say yes to investing these three hours and $497 into the success of your practice then I'm gonna give 10 of these away and this is access to my 30 days of mindset journaling so this is journaling for the mindset you've always wanted now this is a course that I've run previously for 297 I think um, people could purchase it for 297 what happens is you will get a daily email for a full 30 days sending you journaling prompts because the fact of the matter is this the plan is step one another reason why step four well the plan is step one in this conversation remember earlier we said step one is awareness we said step two is decision making decide step three is planning and then step four is taking action but if you don't have the right mindset action still gonna be hard okay you need to be aware you need to decide this is what I'm gonna do and achieve you need to plan that out the planning sets you up for success and then you need to take action but it's hard to maintain consistent action when the mindset isn't right and that's why I specifically chose this program as the bonus because it is always my hope and my dream that you're gonna be successful in anything that I do with you right so the first 20 people that actually sign up for the income blueprint planning day and this bonus also includes anybody from the next level mastermind group that signs up just because you get this 50% discount doesn't mean you don't qualify for the bonus you most certainly do hey Alison how are you you will get 
free access to the 30 days of mindset journaling, which is an absolute must. I have been told that it has literally changed people's lives, that it's been totally transformational. That is the people that has done it, right? So I'm gonna probably hop off here in the next 20 seconds what i will then do is put the information in the comment box for you if you've got any questions please let me know ask away i'm happy to answer it for you and all the details will be in there all righty thank you and i've done really well it's 322 um eight more minutes and my boys will be home so nobody's video bombing me today have an amazing day an amazing week can't wait to speak to you again can't wait to plot and plan with you your success in 2020 at the Income Blueprint Planning Day. <laughs> Thank you for the love heart, Denise. I love those coming over my screen. And remember, as always, all you need to do is say yes to your very own ultimate level five private practice. Bye for now.